Kaz paid high attention to the fighting because it was an important part of the movie for him and we were pictured as such as, you know, professionals in a way and like the, the best warriors of the, of the kingdom. So we, the fighting had to be, you know, show some level. And it set the bar really high. The men training us were incredible professionals and we were like, okay, it has to be at this level. So we had to just jump right in. Really, I was very concerned because they were all pretty serious martial art guys and, uh, you know, I'm supposed to be top warrior, so it, it was important that I put the work in. So they, which I was very glad about, came to London prior to the shooting started and worked with me for a few weeks just to bring me up to speed a bit of the kind of style that they were looking at. And then what's very exciting about them, though, is that they, they do things in a very unorthodox way. The sets are very, very alive and they're very quick to respond to the environment and to what's happening and change things and make things happen. And I do think the action is one of the strongest things of the film. Duhon, when I first saw Old Boy, like everybody else, he blew me away. It had so much energy and so much style and creativity. It was so raw. The fighting sequence and the action sequence could be very manufactured, but it has this raw energy that's really precious, and he brings that, and carefully planned. That's all in his head too, he doesn't even do storyboard. Yeah, and Duhan, yeah, exactly. He's the, the main instructor. We came straight from the airport. <laughs> one, week, one week before and started training with the Korean guys. Into the dojo. The training is, was kind of ongoing. It started immediately before production, about four or five days before production. So it was a run and gun kind of an approach. And during the film, before the fight sequences, we would rehearse a new sequence and we'd learn it, run it once or twice, and then the cameras would roll. So it was very instantaneous. The Koreans were really, especially do were really good at kind of teaching us the basic moves. But once we got on set, that's when they showed up the move in the choreography with the other right. stuntmen. You almost didn't even worry about the moves. Yeah, yeah. They just came yeah. as their natural reaction to what the stuntmen were doing. Right. The bandit scene I've seen playback, and I've never seen anything like it. Fast and furious, you know, desperate and panicky. It seems like there's a thousand people in the, in the shot. You know, I know there isn't, but it just seems like everyone's like ants. They swarm from everywhere. I have to watch the film ten times to pick up the different bits which are going on in it. Hey, all you Dark Knight fans, Valerie here. Now, I have an interesting fact from the film. Did you know that for the first four days of productions, Christopher Nolan put cast and crew under a movie bootcamp comprising eight films whose tone he wanted to emulate? In chronological order, these were King Kong, Citizen K, Cat People, Stalag 17, Black Sunday, A Clockwork Orange, Heat, and Batman Begins. What an interesting mix. Download our Film is Now app available for both Android and iOS.